here at Dayton Interventional Radiology, uh, we take care of a lot of cancer patients. Um, there's a field, um, it's called interventional oncology, which is which deals with providing procedures that we offer for cancer patients. Uh, almost every cancer patient um, at some point encounters an interventional radiologist. Usually the first encounter is um, by uh, biopsy. Um, this, the second most common thing that we probably offer cancer patients are these ports. These are um, patients who get chemotherapy. There's a, uh, a little device uh, that goes underneath the skin that goes into the vein. Uh, where it allows the cancer nurses to directly give chemotherapy directly into the um, uh, vein. From there, uh, there are a number of different other procedures that we offer for cancer patients, not only diagnostic but therapeutic. Uh, since our expertise deals with reading imaging, uh, our, we are also very involved in the imaging diagnosis of a patient uh, who has cancer. Uh, we're involved in creating a staging system for these patients uh, who may have cancer so that we have a prognosis. It helps the, it helps the, the oncology team come up with a better uh, strategy as to different treatment options for the patient. We are involved in cutting edge interventional procedures for cancer patients. Um, these will include uh, treating patients for palliative care. Now we're talking about a, maybe a subcategory of patients who are told you know, you're not a surgical candidate. Um, major surgery is not going to be a good idea for you because the uh, risk of the surgery doesn't outweigh the benefit. The disease has progressed to a certain point, but there's a large population of patients who are very healthy still and are told that, hey, there's no definitive treatment uh, from the standpoint of uh, uh, surgery for these patients. So these are patients that we, as interventional radiologists, could potentially help them. These are patients who may have a tumor that we can treat from the outside, um, not through radiation, but through placing a little probe and either heating it or, or freezing it or even using my, uh, microwave technology to, to destroy the tumor from the outside. These are patients who have maybe lung cancer or liver cancer, even bone cancer. We can use the blood vessels. We're experts in doing angiograms and closing down and opening up uh, abnormal blood vessels. Well, this is something that we can help patients with who have tumors that can't be operated on. There's a procedure called chemoembolization where we introduce a catheter just like a patient who goes for a cardiac angiogram. We place a catheter directly into the uh, liver and, in, and instead of um, just injecting dye, we can directly inject chemotherapy drugs uh, directly into the uh, tumor. What we can do is even inject some particles to kind of uh, decrease the amount of blood flow going to the tumor where we save the rest of the, uh, the, the liver and target only the areas that are cancerous and then we inject a high dose of chemotherapy and oftentimes this helps the patient uh, avoid the other systemic side effects, you know, the hair loss and the, and the feeling uh, sick uh, component of the chemotherapy. Now we can put radiation, little radiation particles directly into a certain organ without having to expose the entire patient to radiation. This is an up and coming field. This is probably one of the most exciting components of our entire practice in that every day there's new research that's coming out on how to deliver uh, uh, new, new, new drugs, chemotherapy, even radiation particles. Myself, uh, having trained at the Cleveland Clinic, my partners, um, uh, one who's trained uh, at the Cleveland Clinic, the other one at, at Indiana University, we're very uh, up on the latest when it comes to uh, providing interventional oncology options for our patients. There's many of these procedures are only proper, uh, are offered at these larger academic institutions at Cleveland Clinic or the Ohio State University. But at, in Dayton, uh, we're providing all of these procedures for these patients. And uh, the nice thing is that all the cancer doctors are starting to know about these as well. And so f the message to our patients would be that uh, there are options when it comes to cancer uh, treatment uh, treatments and there are many skilled doctors right here in Dayton that may be able to offer you a treatment option that um, you're told doesn't exist.